In March of 1993, the annual Jason Project explored the Guaymas Basin in the Gulf of California. The Jason Project is a multidisciplinary research program which shares its work with students and scientists by live satellite links. Two objectives of this year's project were to expand the state of the art in oceanographic visualization and to demonstrate the use of the internet for remote research and education. Computers aboard the research ship Laney Chu West were connected to the network via a 56 kilobaud satellite link. This was used to transmit data to the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute. From there, the data was broadcast in real time across the internet to a number of sites, including NASA, Silicon Graphics, and Turner Broadcasting. At these sites, workstations running interactive visualization software allowed users to observe the exploration as it happened. At the beginning of the project, the Laney mapped out a 12-kilometer square region of the Guaymas Basin using C-beam sonar. The JSON system was then used to produce much higher resolution maps of part of this region. What we're seeing now is the real-time visualization of JSON exploring an area of hydrothermal vents. The JSON system consists of JSON, a remotely operated submersible, and Medea, a camera sled. They communicate with the ship through fiber optic cables. JSON is used to explore relatively inaccessible regions of the ocean floor and can do so without disturbing the area as much as a larger manned submersible. The data that was broadcast across the network included the vehicle's telemetry, temperature profiles, and information on electronic still camera images that were taken by Jason. The major focus of the Jason project is to educate students and get them interested in scientific research. With the help of Turner Broadcasting, the project produces a two-week series of live programs, allowing students to watch and interact with the scientists as they do their research. Students at selected sites are even given a chance to control the submersible themselves through the satellite link. This visualization was used along with the feed from Jason's video cameras to show Jason in action. After two weeks of intensive study, the project thoroughly mapped the hydrothermal vents and collected numerous samples of the unusual organisms that live around them, gave thousands of students first-hand exposure to real scientific work, and successfully demonstrated the use of advanced computer graphics and telepresence in enhancing oceanographic research.